Digital transformation is at scale at GE. A strong digital vision, capability development and a constant focus on innovation is what is driving the 125-year-old company into a digital industrial company. Reimagining how to innovate and redefining the processes, the systems and the tools. On Do Big Stories today, we speak with GE Global's Group CIO, Anthony Thomas on how GE is driving the industrial Internet of Things for business empowerment, fueling innovation across industrial sectors for increased efficiency and better outcomes. Industrial Internet of Things or what we call the digital industrial for us uh, is definitely where we are making the biggest investment from a net new technology. Now within that there are so many things that go in there, right? the softwares, the analytics, the machine learning, artificial intelligence, platforms, you know a lot of things that are out there that, that contribute to that. Then in addition to that we are also heavily investing in 3D printing, additive manufacturing. I think more than half of India's power plants run on GE powered machines. Uh, more than half the aircraft engines here in this country are you know, definitely on GE engines, etc. So if you have enough sensors, we do have sensors on all these machines that are going out there, aircraft engines for example, right? Um, so at the end of the day, you can really look at this data that is coming back from the engines after the flight and we can start evaluating that and make a lot of different analytic predictions and outcomes and make the business do their business better. So going back to the aircraft example, each aircraft engine generates about two terabytes of data per flight, right? And as you know, they fly back and forth. Now, if you really look at an aircraft engine, even if the type of the engine is the same, make of the engine is the same, the way it flies, the place it flies, the height it flies, all has a different bearing on its stress on the engine. But imagine an unscheduled maintenance, right? Uh, before this time. is So so when you have sensors there, you know, and because at the end of the day, you can start analyzing the temperature the fuel burning, the, the, the aerodynamics, you know, a lot of the other data that is coming from the engine itself that can then help the service team analyze and it sometimes even predict when the next maintenance is due. Uh, and if a spare, spare engine or a spare part has to be there when the plane lands, you know, people can make sure that uh, things are there. We could, we could even take it to the next level, look at fuel, fuel burning, fuel efficiency, um, and then how do we drive down um, uh, the, the fuel consumption. Helping Qantas, uh, one of our uh, you know partners in Australia, uh, we just created a uh, a lab to analyze the sensor data coming from all their aircrafts, and we have data scientists sitting in Austin, Texas, analyzing the data, and we are passing this data back to the airline. And the objective is that eventually the pilot should be able to pick the most fuel efficient route from point A to point B. We are working in pharmaceuticals, healthcare, you know, a lot of the MRI machines, X-ray machines are out there. You know, are there ways that we can help them diagnose better? Our objective first and foremost is how can we help our business grow revenue, which means how can we help our business solve our customers' problems. Second is we have a lot of siloed systems. You know, we have the sales systems, we have the design and engineering systems, we have the manufacturing systems, we have the service system, and they all don't talk to each other at all. How do we drive optimization? We call it digital thread, right? Looking at it from, you know, one point in the life cycle through till the end of it, right? So how do you connect all these things together so that there is full efficiency in the system? You know, there are some areas where startups or individuals, crowdsourcing can contribute directly to our outcome. But I can tell you a story about uh, something that GE did about a couple of years back. When we designed our new engine, the clamp for that engine, the bracket was heavier than it should be. Our engineers, the best in class, the best in the world, tried to bring it down to the weight that is optimum. They were not able to do that. So they crowdsourced it. And I think a kid from Indonesia or somewhere, a guy who doesn't even have an engineering degree, came up with a design that we were able to reduce the weight to by, by a large percentage and that was a design that, that we took, right? So, you know, in a, in, a, in a regular traditional environment that wouldn't even happen. 